Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. Actually, I'm in a vacation. Uh, after all these six months of your preparation and everything, I took uh, one week gap. And by this time, CSR had declared uh, the scorecard. I mean, not, not exactly the scorecard, but you can check your score. So by this time, I'm receiving a lot of messages regarding which score is perfect to qualify a GRF or an LS. I already made several videos on that, but for a quick review here, quick recap, I can clearly tell you that in CSR Net Life Sciences, if you are from general category, then in that case, in general category, the cutoff for JRF, I believe this time would be somewhere between 115 to 118 in marks. Remember, this is not in percentile, this is not in percentage. If your marks are coming to be 115, uh, 115 to 118, I believe you have a solid chance to qualify JRF in a general category. For an LS category, uh, the marks will be 10 marks less than what is general category, uh, what is GRF category is done. Now you may ask question regarding, you know, if you are SC, ST, OBC, then how it will correlate? Basically, watch one of my videos regarding how to calculate your scores and marks based on your total score that you achieve. So watch that video where I clearly stated how many marks difference are present between a GRF uh, general category with the OBC. Uh, then SC, ST and EWS category. But this is it. If you score more than 118, I believe as per the question paper in this year's CSI net exam, you will qualify all the very best and watch the video. I'll put the link in the description so you can watch that to get a clear idea. And thank you everyone.